Now let us discuss about 8 by 1 multiplexer. We know what is a multiplexer. A multiplexer accepts 2 power n data input lines and it produces only one output and a multiplexer has n selection or control inputs. n selection or control inputs. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, block diagram of 8 by 1 multiplexer, truth table, expression evaluation and logical circuit. Uh, so first let us see the block diagram of block diagram of 8 by 1 multiplexer. So the name itself specifies the meaning. So an 8 by 1 multiplexer. So multiplexer can also be called as MUX. An 8 by 1 multiplexer has 8 inputs and it produces one output. So the first input is I0, second input is I1, next input is I2, so on what is the last input? I7. So a multiplexer has 8 in 8 data inputs from I0 to I7 and it produces only one output. Let that output is denoted by Y. So here how many inputs are there? 8 inputs. So 8 means 2 power 3. So we will have these 3, 3 selection lines. So here the selection lines are S0, S1, S2 are the selection lines. S0, S1, S2 are the selection lines. Now let us see the truth table. Let us see the truth table. Uh, here what are the, here out of all the data input lines. So here we have 8 data input lines. Out of all the data input lines, which data input line will be displayed as output? that will be decided based upon the selection inputs okay so here what are the selection inputs s2 s1 s0 are the selection inputs whereas what is the output y is the output okay if the selection inputs are 0 0 0 then what will happen is this i0 this line will become say active so this i0 will be displayed as output suppose if the selection inputs are 0 0 1 then the second line that is i1 will be active and it will be displayed as output. Next, if the selection inputs are 0, 1, 0, then I2 will be displayed as the output. If the selection inputs are 0, 1, 1, then I3 will be displayed as the output. Next, I4. Next, I5. Next, I6. I6. Next, I7. I7. Okay. So, if the selection inputs are 1, 1, 1, then what will happen? The last data input line that is I7 will be displayed as the output. So at a time only one input line will be active. That input line will be displayed as the output. That depends upon the selection input. Okay. Now let us evaluate the expression here. So Y is equal to. So what is the first term here? 0, 0, 0. So 0 means S2 bar, S2 bar, next S1 bar, S0 bar and I0 into I0 plus plus what is the second term here 0 0 1 so what is 0 0 s2 bar s1 bar and 1 means s0 so s0 s0 i1 so plus plus 0 1 0 means what s2 bar s1 s0 bar i2 s2 bar s1 uh, s s1 s0 bar i2 so likewise we will have three more terms uh, so for space constraints I am writing here. So what is the fourth one? 0, 1, 1. So 0, 1, 1 means S2 bar, S1, S0, S2 bar, S1, S0, I3 plus next one is 1, 0, 0. So 1, 0, 0 means S2, S1 bar, S0 bar, S2, S1 bar, S0 bar, I4 plus I5, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 0, 1 means S2, S1 bar, S0, I5, S2, S2, S1 bar, S0, I5. Next plus, what is the next one? S2, S1, S0 bar, I6 plus S2, S1, S0, I7. Next, let us see the logical circuit here. Let us see the logical circuit here. So, totally we will have three selection lines. So, the first one is S2. Uh, next, this line represents S2 bar. So, next one is S1. This line represents S1. Next, this line represents S1 bar. Next, S0. And this line represents S0 bar. S0 bar. So, what is the first term here? 
S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 bar into I0. So this is S2 bar, this is S1 bar, this is S0 bar into I0. So this is I0. So this is the first AND gate. Next what is the second AND gate? 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1 means S2 bar, S1 bar, S0, I1. So S2 bar, S2 bar, next S1 bar, S0. So this is S0. And it has one more input line that is I1. Okay i1 next next third one s2 bar s1 s0 bar so this is s2 bar next one s1 so this line is s1 next this line is s0 bar okay next this is i2 okay i2 next what is what is the next one s2 bar so this line represents s2 bar next s1 this line represents s1 next s0 so this line represents s0 next i3 okay so likewise we need to have remaining terms also remaining terms also so what is the next term s2 s1 bar s0 bar so this is s2 next this is s1 bar this line uh, next this is this line is s0 bar next i4 okay i4 next for i5 uh, s2 s1 bar so this is s2 next this is s1 s1 bar so this line is s1 bar uh, next one is S0. So, this line represents S0. Okay. Next I5. So, likewise we need to take two more terms for uh, I6 and I7. Uh, next, uh, simply perform perform R operation. Perform R operation. Two more terms. R operation. R. So, this is R gate. So, this is R gate. Okay. So, R gate accept all these uh, eight inputs. Okay. So, it will produces Y as the output. It will produces this R gate is nothing but uh, uh, y so y is the output so what are the remaining two terms s2 s1 s0 bar so this is s2 next this is s1 next this is s0 bar okay so likewise we need to take s2 s1 s s0 into i7 and we need to supply as input to the uh, that multiplexer so this is about uh, 8 by 1 multiplexer so what is 8 by 1 multiplexer an 8 by 1 multiplexer accepts 8 data input lines and it produces only one output. So, 8 data input line means uh, uh, 8 data, a, we can write 8 as 2 power 3. So, 2 power 3 means what? 3. So, it, a 8 by 1 multiplexer has 3 inputs such as S0, S1 and S2. So, out of all the available inputs, that is out of all the 8 data inputs, so which data input will be displayed? Which data input will be active? So, that will be decided based upon the selection or control inputs such as S0, S1 and S2. So, this is about 8 by 1 multiplexer.